Hello solo users, my name is Sebastian Alvarez. I'm the PSG sales engineer for the channels for LiveView. Today I'm just going to go a quick overview of the solo portal. Um, first we navigate to the portal by going into solo.liveview.tv. From here, new users could register, fill out the appropriate fields, enter the caption. Uh, it'll send you a verification email. You respond to that and fill and put in your username and your password. Log in. And it brings you to your dashboard. Um, if you're a new user, you want to add your first solo unit. You click on the top right, add solo unit. Enter the serial number that's uh, on the bottom of the back of the unit. Hit submit and it'll add it to the dashboard. And when it brings it up, you'll see the name of the unit, mostly the serial number, um, the provider that, and the status. Uh, it'll be none when you first log in, but to configure it, we click on this orange cloud. This is gonna send, tell it where to send your video that you want it. Um, we have two options. We have our one-touch streaming options and our additional streaming options. Uh, for the additional streaming options, you do have to do some manual work. You, have, you do have to go to the website, get the uh, primary URL and the stream key, and you have to come back to the portal and enter those in. You just give it the destination name and select your resolution and you hit submit, and that'll send the configuration to the unit. How our one touch is different is we work very closely with uh, our partners API, especially, think, especially like Facebook. All I have to do is click on Facebook, and it's already, I already have Facebook up on, on my browser, so it automatically links to my Facebook page. Um, from here, I just give it a title, give it a description, pick my resolution, say where I want to go to. I'm going to go to Live View Inc. I can say Live or Preview. We do have uh, additional options. If you want to override your resolution and your frame rate, you can do that. Uh, Facebook is a bit picky, but we're just going to let it go with a default. So I hit Submit. It sends the configuration to the unit. So now we'll see the provider change the Facebook there. Uh, it's ready to go live. So from here, I could go hit the play button on the unit or I could hit the play button on the portal and just do that. And then it's going to send the signal to the uh, unit to start streaming. And we know that, uh, that it is streaming on the portal by the green little uh, icon changing to red saying it's on air. Uh, so there is a built-in five second delay for the solo unit to the portal. And from the portal to Facebook, there's an additional five seconds there, or five to seven seconds, so it's about 12 seconds total delay. So I just go to my Facebook page, go to the main page, I'm going to give it a refresh. And then we're live, and these are my lovely assistants working on the video with me. But, so that's how quick and easy you can do it. If I want to do another Facebook, Facebook is a bit unique. Um, first, I've got to stop this one. Facebook is a bit unique in the way that each uh, start and stop of the stream creates, uh, makes it its own event, so it has its own stream key. So if I want to make a new Facebook stream, all I have to do is click the new Facebook stream button and again, just enter the information. It automatically gets that stream uh, URL and key for you, and so you don't have to go get it. Um, for other options like YouTube, all you have to do is link your account. So just click on link your account, Sign into your Google and it'll send a token and it's permanently linked. So whatever your video you want to send to your account, you can link it there. Um, that's it for really all that there is in the preview. Um, if there's any support issues, you have any issues with your, uh, your unit, you can go into the support icon top right. We, have, we do have our full solo user manual there. It tells you what's in the unit, the connections, the interfaces, how to go live. And if you have any other issues that the, the device isn't working properly, you can always submit a case to our support line um, via email and they will respond to you within 24 hours. Um, so that's it for the solo uh, portal preview and uh, thank you for watching.